first of all, earmarks are important. They're important because they, they really are the core of the relationship between a voter and, and Congress. Um, a voter has the, pays taxes and has the right, indeed, the responsibility to ask for things for his or her home, his or her district. If, uh, if, a, if a university uh, has a, a research enterprise that holds great promise for cancer, for instance, then indeed it has every right, indeed it has a responsibility to ask Congress to support it. So an earmark is effectively a decision by a member of Congress or indeed the whole body to send funds back home to those very taxpayers who sent the dollars to Washington in the first place. It's high time for those who feel that it's their responsibility to help their constituents to, to speak up and to fight back, period. Um, we, the, the, there, are, there are a number of very, very well-known uh, earmarks, or, or earmarks I should say, that have been enormously successful. Um, the Predator, which is the drone that is in common use in Afghanistan, an unmanned air vehicle. Uh, which is used for surveillance and indeed for, for taking out uh, al-Qaeda uh, uh, and can go places where, where, where human beings can't go and keeps men and women who are pilots out of harm's way. That was an earmark. In fact, it was done over the objection of the, of the Air Force, I believe, who didn't feel that it was an appropriate way to go. Uh, Congressman Murtha, who's recently passed away, was a great champion of it. And by the way, he was somebody who who, um, who spoke out uh, openly about the importance of earmarks and the reason why the, the men and women who serve in Congress should use their brains and their voices and their votes and their prerogative to make decisions and not just give those decisions to, in this case, the Pentagon. We are in a populist era and um, one man's earmark is another person's uh, effort to fight cancer. And it seems to me, and I think it seems to a lot of people, that it's the job of, of the men and women who serve in Congress to tackle the big problems of the day and to do so any way they can. Uh, if, if an earmark goes to a small company that has a, as a, as, as a research enterprise that shows great promise in treating cancer, then I, for one, would be terribly irresponsible if I didn't pursue that and fund that project. Indeed, there's not enough money to do every, everything that one would like to do, but it is the responsibility of those who serve in Congress to make decisions and to use, use that, those funds as best they can.